Hi everyone. Welcome to Race to IAS Current Affairs Guru. Today we are going to discuss about the National Nutrition Mission or the Poshan Abhiyan. Before moving into the topic, please make sure that you like, share and subscribe this YouTube channel for the latest updates. So, what is the news relating to the National Nutrition Mission? Recently, Niti Aayog had released a report that said that the National Nutrition Mission must be stepped up in order to meet the targets set by the center in reducing the level of stunting rate, undernutrition, anemia and low birth weight babies by 2022. So, let us look into detail what does these reports say. Niti Aayog's third progress report on the nutrition mission noted a need to quickly graduate a portion plus strategy which apart from continued strengthening the four pillars of Abhiyan which we will delve towards the end of the video also requires renewed focus on other social determinants in addition to addressing the governance challenges of the NHM ICDS delivery mechanism. The NHM here means National Health Mission and the ICDS means Integrated Child Development Schemes. On stunting, the review says that India's target are conservative as compared to the global target defined by the World Health Assembly which is a prevalence rate of 5% of stunting as opposed to India's goal of reducing stunting levels to 13.3% by 2022. The target of reducing prevalence levels of anemia among pregnant women from 50.3% in 2016 to 34.4% in 2022 and among adolescent girls from 52.9% in 2016 to 39.66% is also considered conservative. Now let us look into detail what is this National Nutrition Mission or the Portion Abhiyan. The Portion Abhiyan was launched by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi in Junjunu, Rajasthan in March 2018. It is a multi-ministerial convergence mission with the vision to ensure attainment of Malnutrition Free India by 2022. The objective of Portion Abhiyan is to reduce the stunting in identified districts of India with the highest malnutrition burden by improving utilization of key Anganwadi services and improving the quality of Anganwadi services delivery. Its aim is to ensure holistic development and adequate nutrition for pregnant women, mothers, and children. The Ministry of Women and Child Development is implementing the Portion Abhiyan in 315 districts in the first year, 235 districts in the second year and the remaining districts will be covered in the third year. As a part of its mandate, the Nidhi Aayog is required to submit implementation status reports of Portion Abhiyan every six months to the Prime Minister office. The first biannual report was prepared and presented at the third National Nutrition Council on India's Nutrition Challenges, which is housed within the Niti Aayog, in November 2018. So, let us look into what are those four pillars for the implementation of the Portion Abhiyan. The first one is Intersectoral Convergence for Better Service Delivery. The second one, use of technology for real-time growth, monitoring and tracking of women and children. The third one is intensified health and nutrition services for the first thousand days. And the fourth one is the Gen Antholan. So this is all about the National Nutrition Mission. So now, let us look into certain multiple choice questions relating to what we have studied today. The first question, in which year did Portion Abhiyan start in India? 2018, 2016, 2019 and 2020. 
The correct answer is 2018. The second question is, which year is the target completion year of Portion Abhiyan? 2021, 2022, 2020, 2025. The answer is 2022. So that's all for today. The PDF of this material is available in our Telegram channel. So kindly follow Race to IAS in Telegram as well as in all social media platforms. Thank you all and have a nice day.